We're going and drink the punch. It won't hurt a lot. How are we doing now? Oh, we stepped it up. The game is afoot. New people, I'm sorry we busted your chops ever so slightly, but now you're one of us. You can sit back and relax and be chanted at awkwardly by all of my bestest friends. <sighs> you might have caught on that it's, it's kind of like always Halloween here. It is. And yeah, it's somewhere between dead between the two, really. Here's, here's the thing. Halloween is, in fact, over. I know for some of us that comes as a terrifying shock. Let it die out. And yes, it is actually over. And let me, I want to get a question, but I don't want a, an audible response because there is a camera now rolling. I want just a show of hands. I'm going to walk a little forward so I can see it. I want you to raise your hand if you have a stable and happy life with your family and you're looking forward to the holidays. Okay, okay. He's drunk, ignore him. All right. So a handful of you, and I want to start off by saying, awesome, huzzah. And with no malice at all, the next few minutes aren't entirely for you. <laughs> this, is, this is, of course, your place, but I need to talk to the majority that did not raise your hand. We are entering the time I affectionately refer to as the emotional meat grinder we call the holidays. We have two major holidays to get through and it's going to be hard. I know this. I, I live through it too. And last year I had the best advice I've ever given to a room full of people. I walked up here and said, if I can give you one solid sane piece of advice, when you go to those familial obligations that you have to be at, you sit down to dinner and you find yourself across from, well, your childhood arch nemesis, who is your uncle Al, do not stab them with a fork. Because the spoon hurts. No, not because the spoon hurts more, because you look terrible in fluorescent orange and you really clearly by being here like your personal freedoms. It seemed like a very good piece of advice and it's one I stand by. Do me a favor, don't kill anyone over the holidays, please. I, I, wanna, I wanna take it up a notch because we've been doing this for a year and I'd like to think that everybody who's been a part of this process, this madness has gotten a little better. I can hold so much more vodka before I lose control. Uh, but to the rest of everybody, I know we've gotten better so I wanna, I wanna issue you a challenge as we go into the holidays. In addition to not stabbing anyone with a fork, despite so many people desperately deserving it, needing it, and you know what? You're right, they do. And they've put you through this because they don't see who you are or who you're on the road to becoming, they only see you, you know, back then. That's all they ever see. So I'm gonna ask you one favor. Remember as you wander around that everyone else is going through exactly that moment and be this kind if you can. And if we can manage to do that, I think we will survive this holiday together. What do you think, guys? And I'll tell you what we're gonna do for you. If you can promise to be kind, just a little bit kind, and to not stab Uncle Al, if you can promise to do these two things, we will be open on Christmas Eve. Now, I know some of you have obligations that you're looking forward to that are going to take you very far away. I know some of you are going to be here and go, and as soon as dinner is over, I am out of here. It's going to be a small show, but most importantly, it's going to be our show. And I want you to know that no matter what happens, right up to Christmas Eve, if you start having that cruddy, crappy night, if you're holding the fork in your hand and you're looking at Uncle Al's jugular, and you're thinking, this could be quick. Fluorescent orange is not that bad a color. I can do, don't. Get through dinner, say thank you, hug everyone in the room and come running here. We will be waiting for you. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs>